morning. I'm David from Intelligent Concrete. I am the stress strain guy. So the great thing is today I get to just talk about stress strain. And from stress strain we're going to lead into the modulus of elasticity, a very important uh, property of materials. So first let's talk about stress strain, where it comes from, lead into how we calculate modulus elasticity, spend a few seconds on how some people estimate it, and then finally the, the big question, why exactly do we care? So we've talked to you in previous videos about testing and about cylinders and about putting load on cylinders. So let's talk about that one more time briefly. We have a cylinder. We put a load on it P. We take this area, stress equals P over A. We, this is in PSI or megapascals. So here's stress here in PSI. As the load increases, the area is the same, stress increases. We've talked to you about strength. Strength is the highest stress before it fails. So this is strength here. Now let's talk about today's topic, the modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity is found from the stress strain data. We take a slope of the stress strain curve. This slope is determined in various ways. If we refer to ASTM C469, which is the Bible for testing, they tell us that we are to calculate from 50 microstrain, this is microstrain here, up to 0.4 FC prime. This, this is strength is FC prime. So strain, microstrain, this is strain on this axis. We've talked about load and stress today. Strain, when you put a load on a material or an object, it shrinks away. It wants to move. So when we do this, we also get a change in length change in length. This is the initial length. So strain is the change in length divided by the initial length. So it gives us a two parameter uh, graph. One based on load and the area stress. One based on deflection caused by the load. So modulus then, the modulus of elasticity is the change in stress divided by the change in strain. Um, ASTM we use, we go from 50 microstrain to 0.4 SC prime. So one boundary is fixed. We go from the stress at 0.50 strain to 0.4 SC prime. That's this distance, and the delta in strain may go from 50 to the strain at the, at the maximum failure. So that's how it's calculated. How is it estimated? Well, there's a lot of estimating formulas. You'll find those in AS, ACI. You'll find those in various literature um, that estimates the modulus elasticity based on uh, the strength. Those are estimates. They're based on normal, so-called normal concrete, normal strength concrete. Uh, they're empirical fits to data. So, um, you know, they give you an idea, they give you a ballpark, but always better to calculate real properties from real data for use in real structures when we're going out and doing design. So, stress strain, we measure that in the lab. Modulus, we calculate that. Uh, from the stress strain data. Um, you'll see here if we get different strengths, the modulus is going to change. You can see that this modulus is going to be different from, th from this modulus as the strengths change. So, there, so there's that. All right, so what exactly does modulus of elasticity do? You might have heard it called Young's modulus. Uh, professor Young uh, was a professor in the late 1600s. It was in that work that this was basically discovered, that when they put weight on ropes, the ropes stretched, and so they found a way to relate that to design. So 
When I was in school, we learned that the change in an object such as this, when we have a load in this direction, we always call this the flea formula. So here we see that the change in length is going to depend on the load. It's going to depend on the length of the object. It's going to depend on the area of the object, how much stress we put on it. This is stress here, F over A is P over A. And it's going to depend on the modulus. So modulus of elasticity, also known as stiffness. Stiffness is the resistance to deflection. So we use modulus in design to figure out how much structures will flex or deflect. And then there's criteria to limit the deflection when we do the design. That's what stress strain guy has to tell you today. We have stress, we have strain, comes from the lab. We calculate modulus elasticity. We use modulus elasticity to limit the deflection of structures. I'm David. I'm out.